I'm going to go back to the top of the document to the place where my table of contents is supposed to be inserted, which is right here. And I will say insert document element table of contents. It will open a new dialog on the top of the page and I will say just insert a regular one. Now my table of contents has been inserted according to the headings as I mark them but the one thing that hasn't been done is format the actual table of contents and in order to do that I have to go and individually format the individual headings within the table of contents and for that I will use the formatting palette again. I have to click on this list and say show all styles which will now show me all the different styles and by scrolling down I will get to the part where it shows and allows me to modify the individual headings within the table of contents which is TOC 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc. It also allows me to modify the heading. So first I will modif modify the, um, the individual levels 1, 2, and 3. So again, I will click on the arrow, modify style, Times New Roman, 12, not bold, matching color automatic, and perhaps in the paragraph here what it does it automatically indents it uh, the first line so I can say none and that will move it all the way to the left okay level 2 modify style I'd like it to be Times New Roman 12 not bold in font, I'll make sure that the color match is automatic. I'd like it to be all caps. Okay, numbered is fine. And again, I will have to play with the paragraph a little bit because it's being indented. And so here I can just say maybe 25 and see what it does. And it moved it just a little bit. I can get rid of the hanging so it moves all to the left which it has okay okay and then the last is table of contents level 3 I will modify the style there again tape times new Roman size 12 this time I can have it underlined or not underlined um, and again, I have to play with the paragraph settings a little bit. I certainly don't want that. And let's see what that's going to look like. So that put it a little more in line. I can also adjust the paragraph on the right-hand side so it doesn't go so close to the numbers. And I can say maybe 0 0.25 on this side so it is a little better organized. And I can do the same thing for level 2. So the text doesn't go so close to the numbers on the right hand side, to the page numbers on the right hand side, and maybe do one zero point two five, okay, and it has moved, so it's easily readable. Now I have to format the table of contents heading. I can get rid of the one that I had here before just to see where it's gonna go. So in the styles, I have to find table of contents for a heading. Maybe I can go to available styles again, and table of contents heading comes, up, comes right up. So again, I can click the arrow, modify style. And I have to, this time, I have to match it to all the lev level heading one that I have assigned it before. So Times New Roman, it was size 16. It wasn't bold, it was underlined, the color was automatic, and 
it was all caps and it was centered okay so now my table of contents heading matches all my level one headings throughout the document and that concludes inserting the table of contents if I make any changes to the document let's say that I add a new heading or I move something to the next page all I have to do is to come up here click to the left so the table of contents is highlighted that will give this small little arrow I will click that and I say update table and it will update the table with the new page numbers so that concludes the demo on inserting the proper pagination and how to create and insert an automatic table of contents. I hope that this helped and if you need help with table of authorities, please go to the next part. Thank you.